Hello everybody, I'm back with another video and yesterday I got a shipment and here it is, it's our art snacks box uh, I'm excited to see what we're gonna play with this month so yeah, let's get started so here it is, let's open this up So oh, here we have the menu, we have the supplies, and we have the candy, which is uh, Laffy Taffy. Oh, jokes on every wrapper. <laughs> and it's a strawberry flavor. Alright, I'm gonna bring my sketchbook. Art, snacks. February 2022 and let's start with the joke of the month which is why did the artist become a detective he was great at drawing conclusions <laughs> there's your joke folks uh, so let's start with the first. Ooh, we get a brush. So we might have some um, watercolor or something like that. A, so. so let's see, it's this one right here. It's a round brush, Princeton. All right, let's read about it. It retails at $14.55, that's kind of expensive, and it says it's a Princeton Heritage Series 4050 Synthetic Sable Brush, round size 6. Introduced more than 25 years ago, the Heritage Brush was Princeton's first synthetic sable brush offered to artists with a great, sorry, with a perfect blend of uh, golden token and various, various diameters, this brush can hold a hefty paint load and has a terrific spray. It was made for watercolor painting, so work wonderfully with your new koi paint. Right. So we're gonna get watercolor. So this is how it looks like. I really like round brushes. Um, and I do have all of my fancy brushes. I have gotten them from <laughs> the Art Snacks box. Usually I don't, I don't paint a lot of watercolor, but it's nice to have this quality of brushes and, and that. Um, so I can, I mean I can test it by using it, but not right now. But I really then need some water, so let me do that. Let's go. I was about to finish this water bottle. Let's do that. Just so I can have some water. So let's go to the next one. It's two Sakura Koi watercolor tubes. They retail for $3.49 each. It's a staff favorite, and it says achieve smooth and subtle gra gradations with koi watercolors from Sakura. These virally pigmented paints respond water to water instantly, performing well when applied to wet or dry paper. They spread easily and evenly, creating beautiful washes and edges. Experiment with layering and blending your new colors. You'll find they dry very quickly. So let's see the colors we got. We got yellow, lemon yellow, number two, and we got emerald green, number 26. Okay, let's try them out. some yellow here and my paper um, if you're new here you'll know that this is not a watercolor um, sketchbook and it's also not a mixed media um, sketchbook so this will handle it very different 
than an actual watercolor paper of good quality will do but i'm just testing it out and i will be using watercolor paper on the final illustration so let's see some of the yellow nice color what was it lemon yellow i think number number two lemon yellow and then we have emerald green i don't need one more it's pretty nice green as well Excuse my ugly handwriting. Let's see what they look together. Throw some green in there. Let's just do this. Be honest, you can do a lot more gradients if you do more. More um green than yellow, more yellow than the green, you know. We all know how to mix colors and how the pigment works if you add more of one than the other. This is the yellow, the yellow green that we have made. Combination. It looks pretty good, it looks pretty, ni it looks pretty nice. And I mean, it's buckling a little bit because I said this water is not. I mean, this water, this paper is not for that, but yeah. Um, let's go with the next one. Which is the Zebra Sensations Brush Pen. It retails for two fifty-eight, and it says this brush pen is sensational. Oh, this is sensational. A great tool for both calligraphy and illustration, the Zebra Sensation Brush Pen delivers deep black color in varying language depending on, a, on applied pressure. The pigment ink is water resistant, not completely waterproof, and archival, so your work will last for years to come. Let me see. Let's see oh. I've done this before, no? Let's see. I don't know if it has arsenic mark, but I do have some somewhere. But yeah, let's let's check this out. So see ooh, see the sensations. Could I put a Z there too? Brush pen. I like brush pen. Because you know you can do things like this or really thin lines. I like to have that um, choice of variating lines. And you can make a really bold stroke drawing a character. Now you can really add some shadows or something. Like this. That's it. Those are our supplies. So we have two colors, well three with this one. Uh, yellow and green. I have to figure out what to do with those. Because I'm not too sure what I'm gonna draw. But... We will keep that in mind. Oh, and since this box didn't add any pencils, thank God, I will still be using the one that we got for the last box, which is this zebra, also a zebra one. It's honestly been one of my favorites. Um, this, the little 
uh, lead that it has. It's pretty good, like pretty legit how it's like the, like this. I don't know if y'all can see it, you probably can't. But it's very straight, like it's not a regular point, like you can do like a straight line like this. I mean, you can do it on a regular pencil, but I don't know, I just like it. Um, so I'm excited to keep using this. And let's just uh, try some things for this. I'm gonna draw a couple of things and see where that takes us. So this is when I started um, thinking about my thumbnails for what I was like, what was I gonna draw? And I was looking at green and yellow things. And at first I wanted to do like a, like flowers. Um, stuff like that or sunflowers or anything like that and then I saw some pictures of some parrots and this one that I'm drawing was super cute so and they were yellow with green so I was like you know what this is what I'm gonna draw <laughs> so that was my decision making in this I haven't drawn um, birds in a minute um, I know that I usually do one for my art snacks because uh, it's something that I don't draw that often and for these things I like to do that so yeah that's how I came with the decisions of drawing the little parrots that you guys are seeing right now
how this turned out. I'ma then show y'all how I was painting the background because it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, I didn't mix any colors. It's just the emerald green straight into the paper. There's nothing fancy going on or anything like that. Um, and uh, yeah, sort of my little parrots. They're cuties. And uh, on my sketchbook, I did that little uh, thumbnail. But I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill up that page with just parrots, with parrots, parrot studies and things like that. That would be cute to see. To have in my sketchbook. Um, it's kind of crooked. Sketchbook is almost done. The only bad thing about it is that I work on it once a month because it's my art snacks challenge. But we're almost there. Um, when I finish this year, which this is February, March, so this is the year. I'm gonna see how many more I have. To see if I go another year, which I think I will. But after this one, I'm not doing an exclusive sketchbook for Art Snacks anymore. Uh, so let me show you the sticker. Super cute little hearts because of Valentine's Day. And let's put it here. thinking of putting it up here because it doesn't interfere with my parrots and this is what it looks like I'm just gonna write the date back here zero two eleven twenty twenty two uh so yeah this is it I had a lot of fun working on this I always like when I draw birds or flowers or things like that from my art snacks. And um, since you know, I got the, the yellow and the greens, so I was like, oh, maybe I'll do a plant. But then I saw some parrots and I was like, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna do that <laughs> instead. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this, this video. Tell me if you've gotten your art snacks boxes for the month. What colors did you get for the watercolor water koi? Uh, if you get the art snacks plus, I don't know what the extra is. Y'all probably got like a a surface, like a watercolor uh, paper or something like that, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, tell me down below if you got it. And yep, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. -bye.